Hey folks, uh, welcome back, and yes, we've made it. We're at the last part of a uh, Let's Play Enclosure, or well, the last part of the game. Um, as you may recall, uh, we just got back from our little trip away, uh, which we found a pretty gruesome discovery. We returned to uh, Station Mary, and Frank says that the generator is playing up, and the station is about to blow any minutes. So obviously we have to do something about that. Um, anyway, we'll get back into the game. Sorry about that. And we'll talk to Frank, see what he has to say about this. Um, making any progress, Bates? I'm working on it, Goodman. And, uh, how did this happen, Bates? Haven't got a clue, Goodman. You need help, Bates? This is a one-man job, Goodman, but thanks. Better not disturb Frank Bates any further, Mike. It's a very dangerous situation. Mike, Frank needs his full attention. Uh, so we've done that. Anyway, we'll take a little walk around the station and see how everyone is. Uh, we've been away for a while. Uh, we'll take a look up here. And as you see, you can't see a lot. Um, as I said when we just got back here, uh, the storm had just hit and we just dodged in the nick of time. Um, as you can see the storm's fully raging outside and we can't really see anything. So we'll take a look around the station. Oh, that door seems to be playing up a little bit. Um, I think I'll quickly save. Uh, uh, we'll save over this file here. Um, we'll just see if we can get through this door. Because of the broken down generator, this door isn't functioning properly and prevents you from going any further safely. Um, yeah, so we can't go through there. So we'll go down this way. Um, looks like there's some oil again. Uh, maybe uh, the the return of the Eskimo. But we have a drink um, to clear our heads. Uh, we'll go this way and see if we can go to our room. Sarah's probably waiting for us there, so... I mean, it looks like the station's a bit damaged, but... The door seems to be malfunctioning because of the generator area and it's blocking your way. We can't go that way either. So what you need to do is, uh, first you need to go down here, which is the computer monitoring room. Um, as you notice, the screen is actually going a lot faster than it usually does. So we'll take a look. And yes, it looks like uh, the ghost or the Eskimo has a control of the computer. Get off my land, get off my land, get off my land. It doesn't seem too pleasing, it doesn't seem too happy that uh, we're on this land. And this one's a little bit different. Uh, as you see, the door is moving a lot faster this time. So we'll save again, and we'll see if we can get through it. It's censored. And it looks like it split us in two. Gee, that door makes a nice guillotine, but you can see you've already found that up for yourself. And, yep, that's why I saved. Um, oh, Christ. Dogs practice, there's oil everywhere. That's not exactly what I'm looking at. We have to go into the next room. And, my God, it's Dr. Benson. He's badly mutilated with... A uh, scalpel. Should have been. He's been badly mutilated, but I'm the one being picky now. Uh, so we'll look at Benson. See how he's doing. He should be alright. Benson has been cut up uh, terribly with a scalpel, which is sticking out of his chest. Help, Benson. He's alright. Uh, so we'll grab a scalpel. And he pulled a knife out of uh, Dr. Benson's chest. His body begin moves briefly because of the pulling. And we'll read the writing, just in case you can't read it. Get off my land. It seems to be a recurring theme there. And, uh, I guess it's not something you'd, you know, really think of, but, uh, what you do to get past this door is you open up the panel. Manage to remove the panel. There's a panel right to the right of the door. You can't really see it, or you probably haven't noticed it throughout the game. And you cut the wires with the scalpel. That way the door stops, um, the blade of scalpel snaps, so you throw it away. Uh, don't know how it snapped, but and somehow you manage to time it just right so the door will open. And obviously you can't go this way. As the wall has come apart, I'm not sure how that happened, maybe the ghost is very... Christ, it's a lot of oil. Uh, I think we're so terrified we might as well take a shit. Lisa, no, not you as well. The lights are malfunctioning as well. I think we can go to the toilet acting up. But, um, 
We'll talk to Lisa, see if she's okay. <coughs> Lisa, Lisa, are you okay? Do, ugh, do I look okay, Mr. Goodman? Here, let me help you. Let me be, Mr. Goodman. These wounds are fatal. I'll die soon, so listen. What happened? Don't know. Watson and I were attacked from behind. Ouch. Was it the Eskimo spirit? The Eskimo spirit? <laughs> There's no spirit here, Ma and Mary. What do you mean? I didn't. I never felt any presence of ghosts, Mr. Goodman. I normally do, but here and Mary? Nothing. What are you trying to say, Miss Mike? Oh, Christ, Mike. Uh, <coughs> what I'm trying to say, Mike, is I ask you my spirit is an actual human being. What? You heard me, Mike. You heard me. All this killing is the work of a man or woman. <gasps> but why? Don't know. I do know that the killers also operated during the previous expedition, terrorizing Williams' uh, father, Maxwell Mayfield. But this means William Mayfield is in great danger, too. You're right, Goodman. Ouch. See if she has anything else to say before she meets her maker. Where's Sarah, Miss McIntyre? Did you see her anywhere? We were talking in the boat earlier. After that, she wandered off. And where are our own Carter and Miss uh, Willie Mayfield? I don't know. I only know where Watson went. You said he was with you at the time you were attacked. Yes, he fled to the kitchen and defended himself with a crowbar he found somewhere. With a crowbar? Where is uh, the pain? I, I'm here, Miss McIntyre. I'm here with you. Frank, I... Farewell, Mr. Goodman. Miss McIntyre? Lisa? The girl from Lisa's hand you're holding is weakening. And it slips through your fingers. Lisa McIntyre is dead. Kiss Lisa. We finally got our chance. Not the time nor the place, Mike. Well, can't blame a guy for trying. So, uh, Watson's just apparently was in the kitchen, but looks like uh, the kitchen door's open, so we'll go in and see if he needs help. My god, Watson, no! Check him out, see if he's okay. Watson lies motionless on the cooking island. Uh, talk to Watson. No response. Uh, he probably can't hear us. Hear us. Oh, it doesn't know we are. So, uh, Lisa said there was a crowbar. Well, we'll search Watson's body for it. Find nothing on his body but blood. Um, the crowbar is reasonably easy to find. Um, it's actually in the corner here. Okay, you take the crowbar. And, um... Now we have to backtrack a little bit. It's kind of, again, not too obvious where you have to go. In fact, not obvious at all, but there is a little hint that will come up when you're in the right place. Um, it's just coming up here. You're going down to this hallway. It says a cold draft is blowing through this hallway. Which obviously means uh, the air vent. So, use crowbar on vent. And we pry it off. And we'll try crawling through the vent. Oops. Oop. Come on. Don't forget to inform Frank Banks of your actions. Well, fair enough. I guess he needs to know that everyone on the station is dead and he needs to watch his back. And tell him that we're just sneaking out for a quick cup of tea somewhere. And we'll open the door. Since this one doesn't open manually. Where is Bates? He hasn't finished working on the generator, so where is he? Better continue on alone, Mike. Well, this doesn't seem good. Everyone else is dead, and uh, Frank's nowhere to be found, so... I guess there's only one way out. And we're going that way now. And as you see, we're only one point away from the top score. Um, as I mentioned in prior videos, I hadn't actually got the top score before. I, I had a quick playthrough of this. And this will be the last video. Um, you should be able to get. I should be able to finish it off uh, reasonably quick. So it's all right. And we'll crawl through the vent. And able to find Frank Bates, she decided to enter the ventilating shaft. And it looks like it's cleared up pretty nice. Um, it says the storm's right clear enough that we could see, and it looks like we're by the tower at the moment. And before we couldn't see out of it, so I guess it's cleared up a bit. Anyway, this seems actually quite difficult. Um, it's taken me a few goes in the past to get through it, and there's a very particular way you actually have to do it. So I'll quickly show that. Um, I will have to save my game just in case. And um, at the start, I believe you actually have to hide behind here. I'm not sure how you'd be aware of it. I mean, if you die, my God, Owen Carter was pointing a gun at William Mayfield. 
And this bit is a bit difficult. You have to sneak up on Owen. Um, again, it's a very particular path you have to take. Um, so unless you really know what you're doing and trying to get past him without Owen seeing you, um, I don't really know how you do it. He looks back behind him a few times, and if you get caught, uh, well, that's it. You're a shot, and game over. Uh, so you kind of have to go behind the, the um, satellite when it moves blocking his view and it will quickly save once again now that we've progressed a little bit and now you have to wait a little bit um, the satellite will go down face us and this time we'll face him again he'll look behind him twice oop buggered that up sorry That's not how you do it. He looks at it and looks again. You need to look twice now, so once. And it's not happening. Um, hmm. I take that as um, oh shit. Well, I'm not doing too well, because like I said, there's a very particular way that you have to do it. And it doesn't make it very easy for you. And we did it that time. You have to get behind here, and then you go across the path where he is. Or well, looks safe, Ryan Carter mumbles. Better move on. So he decided to move on just in time for us to get up there. Anyway, that's the last bit you have to do for a little while before you get into this cutscene coming up, so we'll watch and see what happens. You never get away with this card, uh, uh, Willie Mayfield says. Shut up, Mayfield. I've got the gun, so I'm in charge here, Owen Carter replies. Come on, wake up the girl. I want to be awake, Owen Carter demands. And there we are, sneaking up on him, and... Who goes there, Owen Carter asks. Oh, it's you, Goodman. I wonder where you were, Owen Carter says. Surrender, Owen. You got nowhere to go, you say. I don't intend to, Owen Carter says. And, whoa. Looks like the... Uh, looks like the spirit of the Eskimo. I don't know what Owen Carter was up to, but I do know that this fake Eskimo ghost is going down, you say. Let's get him, William. Sorry to disappoint you, Mike, when he may feel says. William, what's with the gun? What? You stammer. You see, Mike, Owen Carter wasn't threatening to kill me, but preventing me from killing your lovely girlfriend, Sarah. When he may feel says with an evil grin on his face. Owen Carter isn't killer, but a cop. Undercover, that is. I should have known, but alien. But alas, when he may feel says. Sorry. But, but, I don't understand. Who's the Eskimo spirit, then, you ask? Hi, Goodman. Surprised, Frank Bates says. My God, Bates. William, what? You stammer? You know, Mikey, when you grew grow up with such a, in such a wealthy environment as I did, you tend to get bored, William Mayfield says. Everything you want to get, it may sound great at first, but it gets quite frustrating. It takes out what you're well to achieve. But I was clever enough to see through all that, and was starting to set goals. I took up sports and all kinds of master classes. I felt alive again. But very soon all that became boring as well. Luckily, I changed when my father took me on the expedition to Greenland. You were here? At the former expedition, expedition, I mean, you ask in disbelief. That's right. I was 18 at the time when my father taught me the ultimate way to fight boredom. Ha ha ha. Willie Mayfield laughs. My god, your father too, you stammer? That's right, Mikey. I however can come up with a wonderful kind of game, Willie Mayfield says. Invite a number of people you don't know. Promise them wealth. And when they take up the bait, you hunt them down like animals. Ha ha ha. That's, that's horrible. You're a monster, Mayfield, you say. Wait a minute, Goodman. Don't give me all the credit. Frank here did an excellent job as well. What he made for your giggles. Sorry. It's been rudely interrupted by uh, the cat demanding he be let out. Yes, that's true. What William asked when William asked me as his best friend to join him in this game, I couldn't resist. Ha ha ha! William Bates, uh, Frank Bates laughs. What the hell was that? William Mayfield asks. That was a generator. It's getting unstable. Time to go, William, Frank Bates says. 
What, what was that? Sarah asked, still a bit dizzy. Sarah, thank God you're all right, you say. Well, enjoy it while you can, Miss Parker. Those few last minutes here on Mother Earth. Ha, 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 ha. William Mayfield says. Shut up, you bastard. If you even so much as touch touch her. Sorry, is this, even if you so much as touch her, you shout in anger. Well, I won't touch her, but my little friends are bullets here. Well, that's a bloody terrible line, and I don't know why the bullets are um, in capitals. I guess they're trying to kind of pull it off as a band name or a... And I don't know. And soon they'll touch you, Goodman. William Mayfield grins. William, we gotta go, Frank Bates says. In my seat, get the chopper ready, Frank. I'll take care of these two here, William Mayfield says. You, Goodman? You. You, Goodman. That's a real... Okay. You, Goodman. Get over here. Uh, get over there so I can keep an eye on you both. And don't try anything funny, you hear, when he made for it says. Uh, soon we'll be back in control and we'll save the day. Um, again, it's probably not quite clear what you have to do here, but uh, there's a little kind of hint. You might have noticed the steam suddenly started coming out of the pipe there. Uh, so, you'll see what we have to do soon. Hmm, Frank Bates better hurry up, when he made for mumbles. And he's knocked over, so we've got a little chance. Um, what you do is you use the crowbar on the pipe. And there, you knock the pipe. With an elegant swing, you manage to break the pipe, thus letting out a lot more smoke. It's very hard to see anything anymore. And that's it. That's the last thing we have to do. We've got the top score. Goodman, what have you done, William Mayfield yells. I can't see a thing. Blam. Willie Mayfield fires his gun into the air. Stay where you two are. Oh, stay where you are, you two, Willie Mayfield says. William, what's happened? I heard a shot, Frank Bates asked, but William Mayfield doesn't seem to notice him. Damn it, Goodman, you did this on purpose, William Mayfield cries out. And Mayfield is in a rage and starts shooting at random. Blam, blam, blam. Suddenly a scream is heard. Ah! Frank? Frank, was that you? Frank, talk to me, William Mayfield cries out. William, you shot me, you moron, Frank Bates says in anger. My God, are you okay? How bad is it? William Mayfield asks. My, my God, oh my God, I'm bleeding heavily, William. I'm going to die, Frank Bates cries out. No, Frank, no, Jesus Christ, William Mayfield says, I think. It's meant to be. And now it's just us two, William Mayfield, you say. What? Where are you, good man? Oh, William Mayfield says. Because of the shaking, William Mayfield loses his aim, and you deliver a fierce blow on what you believed could be his chin. Ouch, Willie Mayfield cries out. Frank, help me quick. But Frank Bates doesn't respond. I think your partner in crime's dead, William. You took one life too many, you say. And we got him. Give me one good reason not to pun uh, push you down, Mayfield, you say. Ha ha ha, good man. I liked you the minute I spotted you in that bar, William says, wiping the blood away from his mouth. You looked all law-abiding, all honest and trustworthy, William Mayfield continues. In one word, weak, he says before laughing. Do you want to feel how weak I really am, Mayfield, you say in anger? Oh, good man, give it up. Mary's going to explode any minute now. you never make it to the helicopter in time, William Mayfield says. Oh, well, oh, we'll get away in time, Mayfield, at least. We're going to try, and you're coming with us, you say. You're going to jail. Oh, no. My God, Mayfield, no, you shout. Oh, and it's Owen. He's come to rescue us. Look, Mike, it's Owen, Shao shouts, trying not to drown out the loud helicopter noise. A oh, drown in the loud helicopter noise. Sorry. Quick, get in. Mary's going to blow any second now, Owen cutter shouts from the helicopter. Quickly, you and Sarah board the helicopter. And dramatic exit if there ever was one. So that's it, um, the fuel there was close, Sarah says. Sure was, but how did you survive that fall, Warren? I was, I was very lucky, Mike, there's a big pile of snow on that side of the wall, Warren Carter says. It practically saved my life. Yeah, well, I guess that's, uh, you know. Hey, what is this, sweet? Hey, sweetie, how did you get in here, Sarah says. What? Who are you talking to, Sarah, you ask? Haha, uh -huh. I think Sarah's talking to Snowflake the cat. I found him sleeping in the helicopter when I got in, Warren Carter says. Mikey, Sarah says. Yes, sweetheart, you say. Let's go home, Sarah says. Okay, darling, you said putting your arm around her. Home it is, Owen Carter says. While the sun is rising, the four lone survivors of Mary fly homewards. Like I said, that's it. That's the game. And, um, like I said, this is the first time I actually get, well, not the first time, 
technically second time. Got some nice music there. Story by Fiona Dora Entertainment. Programming and graphics by Joker. The Joker. Famous criminal. Music by Quinn. Uh, quality checking by me. So you can check out other games I've got and download them. And download this one if you want to play it. Score 222. Well done, you found all the points you found, um, all the points you needed for the excess promise in the did you know section. Okay, so this is the first or second time I um, got all of the points, the top score in the game. And I found out that you unlock a little bonus, which we'll see right now. Here we go. The following is mainly off-stage footage, funny goofs and deleted scenes. Have fun. Scene 23, the first morning. So this is just a little kind of DVD extra. Because Sarah, you show Sarah your affection. Uh, guys, what if we actually put Sarah in the shower? There's nothing but steam here, you know. Haha, <laughs> my, can't you do one scene without me, Sarah says? If it was my script, everyone, every scene would be with you, beautiful Mike says. Kiss. <laughs> Cut. So it turns out this whole thing was just a movie. Scene 156. Owen takes off in the chopper. Take one. Scene 101. Lee's funeral. Take one. And thus we lay his body and soul in the hands of the Lord, so that Dr. Chin Sung Lee may rest in peace. Well, uh, William Mayfield says. Amen. Does anyone else want to say anything? Uh, William Mayfield asks. Yes, these suits are damn hot, Ben Green says. Cut. Scene 101, Lee's funeral, take two. And thus we lay his body, soul, and lands of Lord Dr. Chong Si Lee may rest in peace. Well, what do you make says? Dr. Chun Sung Lee. Dr. Chung Sung Lee. Damn. Cut. Uh, take three. And thus we lay his body, soul, Dr. Chung Sung Lee. Chung Sung Lee. Ching Ching Lee, Ben Green asks. Damn it, can we do it again? Cut. Next we will take four. And that's we lay his body and so on. Hands of the Lord said, Dr. Chang, Si Ling, Mei, In. Ugh, oh, never mind. Cut. Take 26. Chin Sung Li. Chi Si Ling. Chin Sing Li. Lee's funeral, 43. Chi Chi Ling. Ching Ling Li. 167. And thus we lay his body and so of the hands of the Lord, so Dr. Chin Sung Lee may rest in peace. From Billy Mayfield says, Amen. Does anyone want to say anything, William Mayfield asks? Oh, damn, sorry, people, I don't think you'd get it right this time, Sarah says. Cut! I right, take off, chop it, part two. I'll take two. Scene 113, cliffhanger. Okay, Hank, I think it'd be better if we left out the boat. You can't be serious. I spent hours making this boat. It's my life's work. Sorry, it just isn't working. Uh, Hank, I believe, is actually the creator of this game, or at least is HWM. Um, there's also a game by Femo Joy called Hank's Quest. Um, I'm not sure if I'll play it, but if you want me to, uh, just say so in the comments and I can give it a go. played it before. It's quite a good game, but um, I kind of prefer this game. Have a way. If you want me to play it, let me know in the comments. I'm sorry it just isn't working. Damn. And that's, of course, with Hank, the character you play in the game. Scene 132, scooter, scooter accident. Talk to Bates. How long will it take you to fix these scooters, Bates? Well, I think it'll be a while, Goodman, since I have no clue what I'm doing here. Ha 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 ha. Cut. 156, I'm going to take off some chopper, take three. 158, the final battle. Give me one good reason not to push you down, Mayfield. Mike, I am your father. <laughs> I can't work with this guy. Haha, <laughs> he's killing me. Cut. Take four. Uh, could someone tell me how you start this film? The end. And that's really the end this time. Um, that's the bonus features, and that's the end of the game. So, for real this time. Thanks for playing Enclosure. And with that, we brought to the back to the desktop. Um, so that's enclosure. Hope you enjoyed watching it. 
I thought it was a neat game and I kind of wanted to do something that was a bit different um, something that was a fan made not the traditional uh, Sierra let's play a lot of people have played all the Sierra games uh, there's quite a few of them up and people would probably play them better than I could so I wanted to do something different um, I'll give another Sierra game go in the future and since that's over if there's anything else you want me to do um, let me know in the comments uh, preferably nothing too intense as I'm doing uh, Deadly Premonition at the moment as well which is a very large game so I kind of wanted to do this alongside it as it's quite small as you noticed and quite easy to play through um, it's an enjoyable game it's not the best but it's a fan made game uh, made with a team of three it seems by according to the credits um, so it's quite cool the story is interesting enough to hold your attention the gameplay and the puzzles are easy enough to figure your way through um, you never have too much difficulty there is a walk through online if you do get stuck on the official site um, but for the most part the puzzles are simple enough that you can get through them they are maybe a little bit weird at times especially near the end um, seen trying to sneak up on Owen is particularly difficult because uh, there's a very particular route you have to take and I mean without trial and error you don't really know what to do um, and as you saw even when I knew what I was doing I managed to die a few times anyway uh, but anyway that's the game hope you enjoyed watching hope you enjoy my other let's plays in the future and that's all for now ta ta